I don't think the new iPad Pro is worth buying at its current state. As we all know, the new iPad Pros have a ton of new features, including a brand new display technology, which looks pretty good for someone who is not a display nerd. Also pretty light, which is very shocking when you come from an older, heavier iPad. As much fun as I had using this iPad Pro for my daily activities, I have to say that I would not recommend you buy this iPad Pro in its current form. The first reason is it comes with iPad OS 17.5, the main issue with iPad OS is that there's nothing that differentiates an iPad Pro from the $350 iPad. You can do practically 99% of the things you can do on the cheaper iPad compared to the more expensive options. iPad OS 17.5 doesn't really add a lot to this iPad and the way you use it. If I were Apple, I would have announced this iPad later in the year after the announcements for iPad OS 18 and everyone gets to see the new features. And this kind of gives me a reason to believe that iPad OS 18 is going to be a nothing burger. So if you're spending like $2,000 plus on an iPad, you're probably going to be disappointed with iPad OS 18 if there is no standout feature that takes advantage of the iPad Pro and sets it apart from the cheaper options. As far as I'm concerned, I'm probably going to return this iPad to Apple or sell it on eBay or something because I don't feel that I'm getting a lot of use out of this iPad, especially for the price I paid for it. I was coming from a 2017 iPad, and while I have both of them right here in the office, I have to say that I tend to go towards the older iPad more often than the newer. And that could be because I had this iPad for eight years and it's just a habit. What I do with the new iPad is not different than what I do with my current iPad. I don't think anyone should buy this iPad right now until we see the potential for iPad OS 18. A great YouTuber once said, don't buy hardware on the promises of future software. I am paraphrasing. This iPad though, we may need to break that rule if there is a standout feature in iPad OS 18 that the iPads, especially the pros, can take advantage of. If you found this review helpful, please leave a like, leave a comment on what you think about the new iPads and whether or not you will buy them or will you stick to your current model. Also, if you are new, please consider subscribing and thank you all for the engagement. And until next time, I will see you in the next video. Take care.